Hello! Welcome back to a brand new video. It has been a while since I've sat down and filmed a YouTube video. I appreciate that. Time has just been my greatest enemy, but I'm really excited to sit down and share this video with you because it's going to be a beefy and comprehensive Lululemon review video. I have built up a really healthy collection of pieces from Lululemon. I have pulled out all of the drawers that typically sit in my wardrobe. So I'm going to go through all of the pieces that I've got here for you. And this healthy collection is just owed to the fact that I do a fair bit of work for Lululemon. Lululemon over on my Instagram page and so it gives me a chance to try out a lot of their new arrivals but Instagram is just a very short sharp and quick type of scenario whereas this is a chance for me to actually chat through the pieces how I find the fabric how I found their wear and day-to-day -day use and this video isn't sponsored by the way I just wanted to be able to chat through the pieces with you in a bit more detail now Lululemon has been in my life for over 15 years which is just, just a sign of my age but I remember buying their pieces and using them when I was working out right before my wedding. After I had my kids, I then reshopped from Lululemon to build my body confidence back and establish those habits. You will recall those videos on my YouTube channel as well from a couple of years ago where I shared my experience, but you know, you don't have to watch that. I'm going to talk about all of the stuff right now in this video. When it comes to clothes that I wear when I'm being active, I typically rotate between three brands and that's Lululemon, Patagonia and Macpac. I wear Patagonia and Macpac when I am going on my hikes though. That's typically sort of my walking hiking gear because the stuff has to be a little bit more technical it's got to be a bit more weatherproof etc etc so lululemon is very much sort of my everyday workouts working from home when i'm wearing active wear lululemon is what i'm wearing about 80 percent of the time the other 20 percent would be the other brand so it just gives you a bit of an understanding as to how this fits in my wardrobe and that is that it is rather essential there's a lot of stuff i'm already getting overwhelmed sort of looking at this and so i am obviously going to categorize this video and i'm going to put timestamps in there for you so that you will be able to skip ahead if there are things that you want information on. I have a lot of their stuff. Pretty much anything that you are keen on, I probably have it and we'll talk you through my thoughts. I'm going to start off with base layers first, I guess, and then I'll work my way to their outerwear and their accessories. My Lululemon collection encompasses both their workout gear as well as their lifestyle gear, which are their pieces that are designed to integrate into your casual wardrobes. Let's start off with their leggings. That's what they are known for. Let's get cracking. I have my box here of leggings. Normally when I do these videos, I sort of pull items out of my wardrobe and I have them all sort of strewn all over the bed. It's really nice though to just pull out these boxes because all of these pieces are pretty much Lululemon. Um, all these boxes are from Sagittine, by the way. They're an Australian brand. I've mentioned them before over on my Instagram, but I will link them for you down below. So leggings wise, in terms of my favorites, it would have to be the Align range. So I'm wearing the Align leggings right now. I think the technical name is the Align pant. I'll just like back it up here for you so that you can see. These are the Align pants in the 28 length with the pockets. I love my leggings to have pockets because I want to be able to put my phone in there. My phone is also like my step tracker. I use the very basic Apple health app to track my steps, but it's very important to me that I'm able to put my phone in there. So all of these leggings will have the side pocket. But in terms of the Align legging, it uses the Nulu fabric, which is a really buttery, soft, velvety, almost like fabric. It's amazing. It's super stretchy, but it retains its shape quite well. There is a lot of feedback about the pilling on those leggings, which is something that I have experienced, but not to the excessive nature as a lot of people have been gone nuts about on Reddit. So here is a pair of Align leggings that I've had now for over a year. It's very mild. I don't know whether this is going to come up on camera, but there is a little bit of pilling, which is to be expected, particularly when you are wearing these. I think obviously if you are doing more strenuous exercise or mat and floor exercises like yoga and Pilates, then you will obviously see a lot more wear and tear from your leggings. I don't do very much mat work. I occasionally do a Pilates class, but for me, it's typically walking. It's walking and it's typically strength training, not that much floor stuff. And so I think because of my typical workout routine, I haven't really seen much pilling because of that. I'm typically on my feet as opposed to on the ground. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you are a bit of a yoga head, then I think that the feedback on Reddit will likely eventuate for you that you'll find that it does pill eventually. And I think that that's an understandable qualm to have as well because they are quite pricey. But for me, what I do, I actually really like them. Now I've got the Align leggings in the navy, which I have 
very gracefully flashed for you earlier in this chambray color i've got them in the short version this is a six inch short with the pockets as well so that's my Align collection. Now I've also got leggings from the Fast and Free collection and that's designed for running and for a bit more movement. The fabric that they use is a bit different. These are actually the very first leggings that I bought after I had children. I think when I originally bought Lululemon, it was a lot more prints. I bought some three quarter leggings as well that I wouldn't wear today. They were just a little bit old school and a little bit daggy. Whereas in terms of like new school Lululemon shopping for me, the Fast and Free navy tights were the first ones that I bought from the new chapter. The fast and free legging is made from a smoother fabric so it's less buttery. This is made from their new Lux fabric which has a lot of lycra in there for a lot of stretch and it's designed for running, for strength training. It's got a lot more durability to it and I've had these now for three years and they're great. They look new. There's no pilling. All of the reflective details are all still in great shape. They've got a newer design now of the fast and free reflective tights in terms of like the placement of where the reflections are. But if you want durability out of your active wear, then you should definitely look at the fast and free range because they're fantastic. I mean, you can even tell there like the label that's rather worn because I have worn these quite a bit. So I've got the navy one, got all the pockets all the trimmings and I also have the forest green version I think this is a seasonal color but they come in a heap of colors darker colors lighter colors you'll be able to find a color that you will like I also have the fast and free tights in the short version but I'm in navy as well because I'm a navy person there we go, that's the six inch short. They're my summer fast and free shorts. If I had to choose between the fast and free and the Align range, that's a difficult one because the Align tights, I really like wearing when I'm just working from home as well. They're really soft and they're really buttery. Whereas the fast and free tights don't keep me as warm, particularly during the winter. And they're not as cozy. They're very much for working out, for going on walks and things like that. And so for the cozy factor, it'll be the Align range. But in terms of like longevity, definitely fast and free. I've also got a few pairs of shorts in here. This is the Hotty Hot Short, which I have in the really fun pink color. These are quite short and they don't have like easy access pockets. There's a zip, but it doesn't really hold very much. So, Keep that in mind if you are a pocket person. These are great though, they're lined, they're very breathable. So for those workouts, definitely a good candidate. And I've also got the Wonder Train tight in this really fun red color. Same sort of idea, I've got the pockets on this one as well. This fabric is like a mix between the Align fabric and the Fast and Free fabric. It's quite durable, not as buttery soft as the Align tights for something a little bit more in between for training purposes, if that is what you do and how you spend your time when you are working out. So yeah, that is a bit of a synopsis on the leggings and shorts situation. Next up, let's talk about tops. And I might focus on their tops that are like their built-in bras, their sports bras. I have a few options here for you. There are a couple as well that are in the wash, unfortunately, but I will speak to them. Now, the first top that I'm going to talk about, which is like the OG Lululemon top, which is amazing and probably my favorite top or sports bra from their collection. It has to be the Lululemon Align Tank. And this one comes in a heap of colors. The padding on this one as well is a lot thicker than the padding on a lot of their other tops. So it offers medium support, which is what I like. I even wear the Align Tank as a base layer sometimes when I'm heading to work. Like it's a great cami. I treat it as a bra in that sense. It is a great sort of base layer for that purpose. I've got the Align Tank also in the waist length in white same idea it's got a lot thicker padding it's just a really flattering cut and you feel really supported it's a really flattering top if so if you're in the market for like a built-in sports bra i would definitely recommend the align tank as the very first option another top that i quite like that offers lighter support still adequate support is their high neck energy bra which i've got in this ribbed black fabric and this one is a couple of years old but it's still available and i've also got it in this navy fabric as well which matches the fast and free 
tights that I've got in that navy as well. So these are great. I do like their high neck style. I know a lot of the sports bras available on their website. They are quite low cut. I also have the high neck yoga bra, which is in the wash at the moment. And that comes in quite a few colors. That one's really flattering as well and offers adequate support. This is the Wonder Train bra, which I bought from their outlet about three years ago. I mean, it's in an old color, but their high neck stuff is quite good. I like the support that it offers, which is why I keep going for them. So yeah, in terms of the sports bra situation, the highlights for me will definitely be the Align tanks and the high neck energy bras. Now in terms of tops, I've got a separate box here for short sleeve and sleeveless tanks and things like that. And I've also got another box here for all of my long sleeve things. It just shows my extensive collection. You don't need a collection as big as this. I'm just very fortunate in the work that I do guys. So don't at me please. <laughs> I'll start off with the functional gear and that is the, oh yeah, I've got to mention this. This is the ebb to street tank, which is inside out. That's great for me in terms of my laundry folding, well done. And it comes in two different lengths. This is important to note because you'll find that the neckline is slightly different with the waist length and with the cropped length. So this is the cropped length, which is the one that I prefer, which I have in navy and it offers pretty good support as well. I will wear this as a casual top because it's quite comfortable. You can get away with wearing it as clothing as opposed to active wear. Very comfortable, great for workouts, comes in a ton of colors. The waist length version, I have tried. I don't think that it is as flattering on my body though because I am petite. I want something that doesn't highlight the fact that I am short and I find that that does. So just know that the ebb to street tank comes in two different lengths and with the two different lengths are two different style tops. Another top that is a favorite of mine is their Swiftly Tech tops. So it comes in so many different versions. There's a long sleeve version, which I've also got and I will chat through shortly. The short sleeve version here, there are different lengths that it comes in as well, like a waist length, a race length. It comes in a tank version. I think these tops are great because they are quite technical in that they are sweat wicking, they're breathable. They are a great base layer for hiking because when you do get your sweat on, you want your tops to breathe and you want them to dry quickly as well. Otherwise you could get cold very quickly, particularly in the winter time. Time. So I am a huge fan of their Swiftly tops and would recommend them to any of you that are doing exercise where you are going to be sweating a lot. I think it's important that you get something that is a little bit more breathable. So that's the functional top front. In terms of their more casual lifestyle pieces, I have a fair few of their cotton tanks. This cotton tank here in this beige color. Also got the cotton tank in two other colors. I've got it in brown and I've got it in black and they're just a really easy kind of relaxed tank which looks great when you're wearing over your sports bras i will typically layer that and then i think it's just a really nice sort of active way look particularly when you're going on walks and going to an exercise class and you can rip off your tank reveal your bra blah 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 i don't really have to talk about how to lay i'm sure you guys know how to lay it but that's typically how i like wearing the tanks but i do also wear them with my more lifestyle pants as well which i will share with you when i am running around after the kids on the weekend or taking them to their saturday sports and things like that they're just a really nice simple but a breathable type of option for you allows you to do that freedom of movement without being too restrictive so that's the sleeveless tank short sleeve top situation in terms of the long sleeve tops that i've got the one that is worth mentioning the only one that is worth mentioning is the swiftly tech top so i've got it here in navy i always wear it in a size six i'll ensure that i have all the sizing information for you down below in the description as well so i've got it here in a size six in the waist length i think in the race in the waist length or the red Got it in the race length, I'm pretty sure. And I also have it in white, which is in the wash at the moment. These tops are great. Great for walking, great as a base layer during sort of the autumn winter months. Great for hiking. The technical tops that are typically available from all of those hiking stores are made of this same sort of material, that breathable, really quick drying material. And so just know that if hiking is also one of your endeavors and then in here i've got another top here from lululemon which is rather old it's made of their ribbed fabric this one's about four years old now their ribbed material is made for lifestyle typically to integrate into your casual wardrobes or when you're just doing lighter exercise and they're great too i will link some options for you that are similar that i think are great um, i've worn this one now for a while and i quite enjoy it and it's very low maintenance as well in terms of care because i've 
we've run all of these things through the machine and they still come up great. I think that's also a really good thing about a lot of the fabrics that Lululemon uses. So aside from the Align leggings problem with the pilling, everything else I haven't had any issues in terms of like it looking a lot older or fading or pilling. So just keep that in mind as well. Let's talk lifestyle pants because I do have a pretty solid collection. Lifestyle pants, I guess, I would categorize as the pants that aren't designed for you when you're working out. They're not really the leggings variety. They're comfortable pants and options for you to wear when you're working from home, when you're traveling, when you're just out and about on the weekend running errands. I think that that is a whole wardrobe category in itself and an important one because otherwise you end up just wearing sort of pilled fleece trackies and we may as well embrace the fact that COVID has created this new need <laughs> for comfortable errand running loungewear, that idea. I definitely have embraced it anyway. So I do have a few options. I've got these high-waisted, elasticized, wide leg navy pants. And these are great. They've got pockets. I have worn them heaps when working from home. I have worn them traveling. They come in a ton of colors and they're just very easy care and easy maintenance as well. You chuck them in the machine and they come up just looking like this. These have been in my life now for almost a year. I wore these as well to the Lululemon shoe launch. When was that? That was in March this year, the comfiest I've ever been attending a PR event. And I also have two other options of lightweight trousers as well. So I'm very much a one trick pony when it comes to these lifestyle pants. I love an elasticized waist. I love a high rise. I love pockets. And so that's what you're gonna find in all of the recommendations that I will share with you. These pants I bought a couple of years ago now and they have been re-released as well this new season, which just shows how popular they are. I love a cropped length because I find that they end up sitting on my frame at a good length. They are either just at ankle length for me, which works quite well. So if you go for the five eighths, three quarter style pants and you're a shorty like I am, then you won't have to get them hemmed. Having said that, they offer in-house hemming for free. I think it takes about a week. So that's a pretty good service. Something to keep in mind if that's something that you wanna do. And I also have a pair of black pants here. Same idea, high-waisted, elasticized waist, pockets, all the important stuff that I need when I am just lounging, but I want to feel put together. And lastly, I have a pair of soft stream trousers. Soft stream is going to be a theme for the rest of this video as we head into the lifestyle section. So soft stream is Lululemon's fabric that feels really soft and velvety. It's like an elevated version of that tracksuit material that I'm sure we've all had in our wardrobes. Rather than it being the really cheap pilling variety, this stuff doesn't pill and it just feels incredibly soft. You know, if you could reach in through your screen and feel this, then you will understand. But it's very soft, very buttery. I have a fair few pieces in the soft stream fabric that I'm going to talk you through as we venture into other categories. Oh, one more lifestyle pant that I have to share that has been great for working from home, traveling, all of that jazz, and just feeling put together when you are just sort of going about your day without anything glamorous happening. It's their Utilitech cargo pants. These are awesome. I have these in the size 26 and they come in three other colors or two other colors, I think. They come in like a lighter beigey color and they also come in a black. These I would highly recommend because they look really stylish. They're super comfortable. They've got an elasticized waist but I like how that elasticized band is only visible from the back because at the front it just looks like a pant and I also didn't need to get these hemmed as well which was very surprising but yeah they're a really nice comfortable stylish sort of wide leg cargo trouser so it ticks a few boxes it ticks the comfort box it ticks the stylish box these are a great option I've worn these heaps let's talk some of their sweaters and I have a few options to share with you. I might start off with the more functional workout option for you first. And that is the very famous Nulu jacket, which has been worn by many, many celebrities. This is made of their Nulu fabric, the same fabric as their Align range. And so it feels really buttery soft. This is one where you want it to be very fitted on you. So typically I'm a size US six or a size Australian 10. I find that Lululemon sizing is a little bit on the smaller side of the scale, but in this jacket, I got myself a size four because of the stretch factor. I want it to feel like a smooth, 
sea creature. Very streamlined. It's a great jacket. It's a great base layer. Definitely would recommend this to wear as a layer when it gets a little bit chillier out, which it is right now in my part of the world. Then I have a few more tops that I do wear when I am going on my walks, but I think that they straddle more so the lifestyle range of things on that end of the spectrum. So I've got two of these jumpers from the soft stream range. I did say that it would feature quite a bit in the latter part of this video. So I've got their oversized crew neck jumper. Got it in this rose color and I've also got it in this white color, which matches the pants that I just shared with you earlier. And these are just great layers to chuck on when things are a little bit chillier. Even though it's loungewear and very casual, it feels very premium. It feels very luxe. This is a very good example of leveling up your loungewear and just feeling a lot more luxurious. This is definitely like a me time purchase. And I very much value that a lot these days. I think it's a luxurious experience to wear them. That's why I always recommend these to people. But I've also styled them with jeans because they're just a very classic, simple design. You might be thinking, it's just a jumper, but it's not, it's an experience. Oh gosh, I'm trying to fold as I go so that I don't make an absolute mess of the place after I finish recording, because that's always what happens. It always discourages me from filming more videos because I'm like, what the? No, okay, tidy, tidy, tidy. Marie Kondo, be very proud. Now I've got a few things to share from their scuba range as well, which is what you would consider to be more of a traditional fleece. So I'm wearing one at the moment. I'm wearing their oversized scuba half zip sweater, it's cropped. And inside, I'll just show you, it's very, very fluffy as you can see. This one has had a few wears. It's still fluffy. I mean, it's not going to remain fluffy for its entire life. That's just, you know, how it is with these fleece jumpers and things like that. But first few wears, obviously it's gonna be amazing. But I do like this as a top layer when I'm going on walks, dropping the kids off at school, yada yada. You know all of the errands that I run. I think I've constantly been repeating myself in that regard. This is what I wore today when I dropped the kids off at school. So there you go, it's just in practice. This particular style as well comes in like the full zip version it comes in a hoodie version. I've got the hoodie version in pink in the plush version, which is amazing. That's in the wash at the moment. That's more like a deep winter hoodie because it is just so unbelievably soft. So their scuba range is quite a vast one. And I have another option here as well. This is just a classic crew neck sweater, a little bit oversized, a little bit cropped. And I love how the simple design means that you know you can wear it as a top layer obviously when you're running errands and heading out for your workouts and things like that but i also think that this can be styled in everyday looks as well which i have done i think i'm really enjoying the fact that athleisure is a thing you can get away with wearing athleisure pieces to the office i really really enjoy that because i'm so unbelievably comfortable this is definitely one of those pieces that you can straddle in both your workout wear and your everyday wardrobes so that's the sweaters jacket it's box. I feel like I'm moving through this really quickly. I hope you're getting a little bit of a feel for each of the pieces, but obviously if I have brushed over it really quick, then pop a question in the comment section and I will get back to you about it because I have a lot of thoughts. It's just when I sit in front of the camera, I always end up forgetting them. <laughs> That's just the way. Okay, let's move on to outerwear. I've got a lot of proper outerwear gear to share with you and it is winter in my part of the world. So let me just talk you through some of the options that I've been really enjoying wearing lately. Oh, don't knock anything over. Okay, wow, it's like puffy heaven. The first thing I'm gonna talk through is their Wonder Puff vest. Now the Wonder Puff line is an extensive one. They've got Wonder Puff jackets, long and short length and there's also the Wonder Puff vest. Now in Australia where I live I am fortunate enough to not have bitterly cold winters and so typically I will wear this vest over what I'm wearing now and that is adequate warmth at the moment anyway. I think it's going to be a different story when I'm in proper winter. I'll probably want one of these Wonder Puff vests in the jacket version but this is what I've been wearing a lot lately when I've been taking the kids to training for their weekend sports it's morning walk situation when the weather is a little bit cold. This has been a really great layer and the puff 
on this. Like it's really soft, it feels really airy. I've got a few different puffer jackets and puffer things to compare to as well. Like I've got a Uniqlo puffer vest, which I wear as an inner layer under my coats. That one feels really soft and quite lightweight in comp comparison to this one. I've also got the Patagonia down jacket. I don't have them in the vest version, but that has a different feel as well. This one feels really cozy in comparison to the other two. And so that's something that I think you might want to keep in mind if you are hunting for a vest. I think this one definitely should be in your shortlist. This one also has a removable hood and it's got pockets. And within the pockets, there's like organization as well. Like there's a mesh pocket inside the pocket. So when you've got loose things like your AirPods or your keys, they can just stay in the one spot. And it's also got like an inner pocket as well inside the vest, a zip pocket. And so I find that when I'm wearing this vest, I'm not really taking my small crossbody bag either. I will just put my card holder, keys, phone, just all in here and it's just captured it. So I've really been enjoying this recently, but it's a great, great vest. Would highly recommend. I think it's definitely worth the investment. I've got here, this is a newer style. I haven't seen it around very much. This offers sort of lightweight, moderate insulation with the puff. This is their shirt jacket, which I would describe more as a long bomber, but this thing is great. It looks very daggy on me anyway, but I really like the length of it. I like that it covers my bum. I like that it is somewhat weatherproof. I like that it's a lighter color. I like that it is a little bit more streamlined and it doesn't have too much bulk to it. Sometimes when you're wearing something like I'm wearing now and you just want an additional layer because you're heading out a little bit later at night or a little bit earlier in the morning and you want that additional warmth, this is great. And this is really good if you are living in a mild winter climate like I do. So quite a fun throw over type option. And it comes in black as well. So if this is not your color, then you can go for a black color. And the sizing on this one is quite broad. I got the extra small, but it's got pockets as well, zipped pockets. So functional and also very cozy. Oh, I almost forgot this guy, which I've just pulled out of my wardrobe because this is an awesome jacket. This is a soft strain jacket, but it's in a longer line sort of style. It's got an adjustable waist. It's very much like an anorak, but in the soft stream fabric. And it's got pockets. It's got sort of like a looser sort of neckline. I love this guy. I think it's so stylish as well, despite it being active wear. So this is me leveling up my soft stream by getting something a little bit bougie. I think this is probably like at the pinnacle of soft stream. If you have been dabbling in it and loving the luxurious fabric, that's also definitely worth a mention. Also, while I'm on the topic of soft stream as well, because a lot of people have asked about whether it stains easily, because there's a lot of chatter on the forums about the fact that it stains even just with water. And yeah, I think the nature of the fabric means that watermarks show up a lot easier and it takes a little bit longer to dry. So it doesn't dry as quickly as a typical cotton. So it will linger, but it doesn't stay forever. So I think people think that it stains and it just stays forever. That's not the case. I mean, all of these have been washed. I have brushed my teeth in all of these and splattered water all over them, but they are totally fine. So yeah, if that's something that irks you, then you probably want to avoid the fabric altogether. I think that it's one of those things that a lot of people have just fixated on, but for me, it's not like a do or die type situation. It's not a deal breaker for me. It's just a bit of water that takes a little bit longer to dry. Rather than it being five minutes, it's like half an hour. That's how I see it. That's my perspective on that particular bugbear. So anyway, I have gone off topic. And the last jacket that I have to share with you is my favorite jacket. I've definitely left the best till last. This is their trench coat. And it is seriously the coolest jacket that I've got from Lululemon. So I've got it in the khaki. It also comes in a white color or an off-white color. And there are so many cool features about it. I mean, first of all, it's got pockets with zips very functional. It's got a removable hood. It comes with a belt. I don't typically wear it with a belt though. I don't like the belt that it comes with. I like wearing it loose. It's got these reflective details when you do cuff up the sleeves, which is what I have to do because I'm short, but it is a really slick, stylish looking piece. I've worn this over my workout gear when I have done my exercise. I have worn this to the office. Importantly, it is weatherproof. And that's probably one of my favorite features about it as well. I've been caught in the rain a few times in this jacket and the water just beads and just drips off 
and that is all you can ask for in terms of like a proper trench coat. So I really love it for that reason. But also it's really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not bogging me down. It's just exactly what you want your trench coat to do. I love the fact that it is also a very stylish piece as well. If there's one jacket that you need to get this season, it's definitely the trench. And I know this thing sells out so quickly. I'll make sure that I link it so that you can get notified if it does get restocked. But out of all of the jackets that I've shared, this is the one you have to go for. This is my favorite one. I think that it is evident from all of the outfits that I've styled with it. So. There we go. Okay, that's a wrap. That was a bit of a whirlwind. I hope I've covered off all of the important points, but if there's any questions that you have about any of the pieces, then pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. I'll also pop all of the sizing information for you down below, as well as my sizing, so that you can use me as a point of comparison. So yeah, that's my crazy extensive Lululemon collection that I'm very fortunate to have, that I wear constantly when I'm working from home, working out, going on my walks, travel outfits, you know the drill. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video which hopefully won't be two months because how long has it been? It's been two months. Sorry. All right. Bye.